Bitcoin rejected off a key resistance level. And if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinky Church here. Welcome back to another Bitcoin analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Bitcoin, we did retest a very crucial resistance point here around the 17.4 level. We saw some beautiful bearish engulfing candles actually break below this level. And as of right now on the four hour, we do have a very large bar formation playing out. I did want to talk about a few things in this video. Number one, of course, was the fact that we pretty much had a very slow day on Bitcoin throughout the week. I didn't really make an update because of the fact there wasn't really any sort of move set we were pretty much just hovering within a few dollar ranges and then yesterday we saw a very nice move set we were looking for that bullish pressure to come in and possibly retest at 17.6 and then continue pushing on further but you can see that the bulls pretty much lost control of this level the bears came in and obviously saw multiple bearish engulfing candles and right now on the four hour we are getting a very tight range the only difference of course is the fact that you can see on the four hour we are now below the exponential moving averages using them as resistance so i would be looking for a larger move set to the downside possibly back down to around that sixteen thousand dollar level i mentioned this to you guys many many times the fact that i don't think bitcoin is necessarily done its bottom formation just yet i do think we will be continuing much lower but i was expecting a short squeeze formation you can see once we tested that 15.5 level we actually saw a three test confirmation and then that continuation which was a beautiful play but as of right now though if we do break below this level once more this would be become the third test opportunity as you guys already know on the third test we usually tend to see a massive move to the downside so our next daily support levels assuming that 15.5 level does break is going to be around that 12.3 to eleven thousand two hundred dollar level that would also make a very nice bottom formation on bitcoin because of the fact looking at the daily time frames that was a beautiful support level back in 2019 so if you go on the previous price analysis you can see that level acted as a very strong resistance and as a very strong support level. You can see that we saw multiple tests of this level. And before the next, well, before the last bull run, this was actually the level of breakout formation. And then we saw that massive continuation on Bitcoin. Right now, if we were to zoom out of the chart and look at Bitcoin from this perspective, you guys can see that we are pretty much entering that area once again. That would make a very nice bottom formation as well. But entering at these sort of levels or even DCing at these levels is a little bit more riskier. In in my opinion, pretty much entering any sort of altcoins while Bitcoin is hovering around that $17,000 mark is asking for a massive move to the downside. I'm still expecting that 50% drop across the altcoins. So just be careful of that. Of course, right now, if you don't really care for the next three to four years on Bitcoin, this would still be a decent area to kind of start looking for those positions. Of course, if we do have that continuation on Bitcoin right now from the $17,000 level, we would have to break above this 17.6, find it as support and then a continuation. Otherwise, this whole zone is pretty much just a massive consolidation zone. So we have to be very, very careful about looking for those long positions. In my opinion, I'm still obviously bearish because of the fact you can see we don't really have a reason to be bullish. Looking at previous price analysis, every time Bitcoin saw a nice run up to the upside, we immediately saw a dump right after, right? You can see that we had that consolidation downwards, had that consolidation downwards, consolidation downwards. So the pattern right now is down, right? So there's absolutely no reason to be looking for long positions but of course if you are looking to scalp the market then those are the levels you're willing to play if we are above the exponential moving averages you can start looking for those long positions to possibly retesting this major resistance here at 17.9 to 17.6 but right now bitcoin is in a very big deciding factor there are two scenarios here of course number one would be that fact that we do just have a consolidation zone and then the continuation like this and number two is the fact that we do have a bar formation right now playing out if this bar formation does continue we have a very high chance of possibly retesting that 15.5 that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day